Eric in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I'm hoping you can help me understand the relationship between the frequency response of a loudspeaker and the amount of power it requires drawn from an amp. Let's say it takes one watt to get 90 dB of output from a speaker playing pink noise and it's flat to 50 hertz. Okay, if I apply a high pass filter at 50 hertz and play the same full spectrum pink noise, will it still require only one watt to realize that 90 dB output? If my speaker frequency response goes down to 50 hertz and, and, and it's like minus 3 dB there, can I lighten the load on my amplifier by applying a high pass filter? Or does the fact that my speaker response drop off sharply below 50 hertz mean the amplifier is not really spending any energy attempting to reproduce the frequencies below that point anyway? Woo! Yes, <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> if your speaker isn't producing any movement below 50 hertz, then you're not spending any energy down there. And so adding a high pass filter at that same frequency would really have little to no effect whatsoever. So pink noise, for those of you that are unfamiliar with that term, is basically and Typically, we would call that his white noise. So white noise is full spectrum, highs, lows, mids, everything, right? Pink noise is more, well, I can't make a pink noise sound, but it's a psh with a steady roll off of the higher frequencies. It's, it's more what we would call realistic, evenly distributed energy that we test loudspeakers with. So you put a pink noise signal in, one watt, and if it's a 90 dB speaker, you'll get um, 90 dBs of sound of that pink noise reproduced out of there down to whatever frequency it goes as, as you know low. And below that, the amplifier is not putting out any power. So I know people get confused. It's like, e even though the speaker isn't making any movement, it, are, are you consuming any watts below that? And the simple answer is no, no, you're not. So hope that helps, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.